Affinity Photo is an amazing photo editing app for the iPad. It's a professional application that features tons of power user features. One of the knocks against the iPad Pro is the so-called lack of professional grade apps. But with the release of Affinity Photo, a very robust professional photo editing app, hopefully that will change the perception about what an iPad app can actually be because this app, I'm telling you, is ridiculously deep and it is basically a desktop caliber app running on an iPad. And one thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat is that it features a desktop class interface. But what's really impressive about Affinity Photo is that it's able to pull this off, able to pack in all these features into a very easy to use approachable package. In other words, it doesn't feel overly cluttered. The options and settings sort of just get out of the way while you're working, but you know that they're there and you know that you can quickly access them, whether it be a setting or a particular toggle or some other option, you know that it's just a few taps away at most. And that's what really makes this app shine because it's easy to use, but extremely deep at the same time. Now, another thing that you'll appreciate about Affinity Photo is that it doesn't just leave you out on an island stranded trying to figure out how to use it. The developer Serif included an interactive introduction that guides you through some of the key features. There's also a list of tutorials, 12 tutorials that you can step through Everything from opening and saving to selection refinement to tone mapping, it's all here in these easy to follow tutorials. And these tutorials are baked right into the app itself. So you don't have to go out to a web page or go to YouTube to learn about the app. You have all the instruction right within the app itself and it's taught in the best way possible, video. So you can digest what you've been taught and then quickly turn around and apply what you've been taught right there within Affinity Photo. Now, along with those handy tutorials, there's also tooltip pop-ups that you can access by pressing on the little question mark in the bottom right hand corner. So when you do that, you'll instantly see overlays that help you identify the app's primary tool set. So you can go in and see exactly what each particular tool is named, which will clue you in as to what the tool does. Now, when you switch over to different personas, you'll see different tool tips that correspond to those personas. So if I switch to the selection persona, you can see selection based tool tips. Speaking of personas, Affinity Photo includes five of them. The first one, of course, is the photo persona. And personas are basically, uh, how should I say this? Basically allow you to switch between different types of working environments. And when you do, you'll notice that the available options change. You'll notice that the menus change to correspond to the persona that you've selected. So if you're editing or manipulating a photo, you want the photo persona. But if you're performing a selection-based action, you want the selection persona and so on. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll find what Serif is calling studios. These studios can be pinned to the screen so that when you're interacting with your image, they stay on screen. Now a studio is basically any tool that's geared towards aiding image editing. So for instance, you have your layer studio, which allows you to adjust layers. You have your color studio, which allows you to adjust colors. You have your brushes studio, which allows you to obviously change brushes. And as you can see there, it's super deep because you can go both vertically and horizontally scrolling through those lists of brushes. You have your adjustments, same, same navigation principles apply here and so on. So you can just go through all those lists of studios and find the one that you need for your particular application. For instance, if you want to add some effects or edit some text, you can view the histogram and the various metadata associated with your image, adjust the channels. You can even transform just like this. So if I want to flip, I can do that. If I want to rotate, I can do that right there on the fly and everything responds instantly. No sort of lag involved here. It is a very, very well done app as far as interacting with the interface, adjusting the image and having the app overall promptly respond to your commands. Now I could literally talk about Affinity Photo all day long, but I just want to touch on one feature that I think a lot of people are obviously going to like, something that was shown off at the keynote when this app was revealed. And that is a smart content removal feature that Affinity Photo calls inpainting. So basically what you can do here is you can draw on the screen with your inpainting brush like this and remove items from the image just like this. Pretty impressive, no? And that really is, folks, the tip of the iceberg as far as Affinity Photo is concerned. Right now, this app is on sale for only 20 bucks. You better act fast because it goes back up to its original price. I think it's $30. 
very soon. So I just wanted this video to be sort of an introduction to Affinity Photo. We'll be back with more in-depth tutorials and more in-depth details on the things you can do with this app. What about you? Have you already purchased Affinity Photo or do you plan on doing so? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.